Hello students, in this video we are going to see that how we can do calculations for doping a material. For example, if you are doing a synthesis of nanoparticles and you want to dope it with some other element or transition element, uh, then how you are going to calculate the amount of dope. Uh, now here suppose that we are going to synthesize copper oxide nanoparticles and uh, we want to drop it 1 to 3 with 1 to 3 percent of any other element for example zinc. Uh, so now here I am not showing the exact procedure for the synthesis of copper nanoparticles. You may have different procedure depending upon your method. You may be synthesizing it by a solution method or any other method. But I am giving a hypothetical uh, little bit procedure here. For example you are synthesizing copper oxide nanoparticles with 0.8 grams of copper acetate which is the precursor for copper and you dissolve it suddenly in some appropriate solvent and then the solution is polymerized by some polymerizing agent or complexing agent and finally you get the copper oxide nanoparticles. Now if you have the procedure and you want to do calculations for 1% zinc doping in copper oxide or you can have any other dopant in place of zinc the calculations will be same. So how we'll do it, you will follow these six steps here on the right side. The first step is that you find out the 1% of 0.8 grams of uh, the copper precursor that we are actually using in the synthesis of pure copper oxide. You take the 1% of this 0.8 gram because we are going to dop with 1% of any dopant. So if you take the 1% of 0.8, you get 0.008 gram. Now what you do, you uh, get, uh, determine or you weigh the amount of uh, the dopant, 0.008 gram. And the third step is that you dissolve this 0.008 gram of the zinc precursor or any other dopant into the solvent that you are using for the synthesis of copper oxide. And the fourth step is that you subtract this 0.008 gram from the original 0.8 gram of the copper. And you get this value for example 0.792 gram. Now this is the amount of the copper that we are now going to use in the 1% dot sample. Not the original 0.8 gram but this 0.792 gram. Uh, you again dissolve this copper precursor in the same solvent where you have dissolved the zinc precursor. Now you can also simultaneously dissolve the dopant and the uh, copper precursor. It doesn't matter if they are soluble uh, simultaneously, you can dissolve or, uh, and also you need to check before doping that whether your dopant precursor or dopant uh, salt is soluble in the same solvent or not. So you can both dissolve them in the same solvent and uh, move on to the next uh, step and the next uh, uh, procedure in the same way as you are doing for the pure copper oxide. So the rest of the procedure will be the same as for the synthesis of the pure uh, nanoparticles. So in this way you will synthesize copper oxide nanoparticles that will be doped with 1% zinc. And if you want to dop it with 2%, 3% zinc, you will do the same calculation in the same way. You will just find out the 2% of 0.8 gram, the original amount that you are using for the pure synthesis of copper. And do the rest of the things uh, similarly as mentioned here. So in this way you will get... Uh, the doping in the pure material.